Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use the pricing page module on Pixify. If you didn't watch my last two videos, I suggest you doing that before you go into this um, because it will be a lot more work for you if you don't. Um, so I do suggest setting up your product types and product templates and then also setting up your packages before you go to the pricing pages. Um, that just make everything a lot more smooth and that way you don't have to jump back and forth. Okay, um, so if you want to go to your pricing pages, you just go to templates pricing pages okay and I'll bring you to this area right here and you just create a new pricing page all right and um, if you only have one brand I'll just automatically populate that but you can name the pricing page whatever you would like um, and then pick a URL for it and um, if you get confused on basically what your URL will look like after you create this page you can actually click view page and it'll actually bring you to the pricing page so that way you can just copy the URL from there that's how I usually do it because I can't remember it um, so it makes it really super easy for you you can choose to make it visible or not uh, and disable certain things on it for instance um, if you want them to be able to have more than one package give them a choice of packages um, usually with packages you probably don't want them to click multiple of them um, especially if it's a wedding package um, so then in this instance I would press no on this um, and uh, you can choose to show the details on it or not um, and then add-ons are actually really cool uh, because basically after they pick a package and for instance if your package doesn't include an album once they go to the next page they can add an album um, or just show you know other services that you might offer them um, that you basically don't have in your packages for instance for me um, I would probably want my brides to be able to add on a boudoir shoot so after the fact they can choose to add on a boudoir shoot and see what the pricing for a boudoir shoot is okay uh, and then you know you can choose let them choose the quantity and then the header image and um, you know what how do you want them displayed and then you can actually put your Google Analytics here to see how many people visit your pricing page okay uh, now for the header image this is probably the question that most people are going to ask what size should you make your header image okay um, for me I did this header image right here and the image size, I'll just put that in inches here for you guys to see, okay, um, is three inches long and then the height is 0.683, okay. I think you can make this header image longer if you wanted, um, but I do suggest keeping it at a three um, on the, the long way so that way it can fit properly in your your page okay and then uh, what I did was I just uploaded it to my blog or my website and then I just paste the URL right there okay um, so let me just show you one that I have working I'm working on one um, so once you create it then you'll get to this area right here and this is where you would be able to add on your packages so you can add package okay and this is why I say that it's probably easiest if you do your products and your uh, packages ahead of time because now you can just go in and click on the package you want to add and it'll automatically populate that okay and then press save okay and then you can do that with however many packages you have okay um, so with this image URL uh, you can add on an image to uh, correlate with that package um, but I think it's probably a little bit more effective for products um, for instance if you have a book or something like that you can add on the image um, that shows right before the product um, and then that would basically help people visualize what they're kind of getting all right all right so once you kind of put in your packages and you can add on your add-ons here so for me I'm probably gonna add on my albums and um, my boudoir shoot and stuff in this area you can actually look at this pricing page by going back to pricing pages okay and press view pricing page okay and now it's gonna go ahead and populate that URL and it's gonna show the packages okay and then that way they can choose the package and then um, go to add-ons and details and at the end it'll ask them to submit their info uh, based off of what you currently have under your settings menu okay um, so say for instance they choose this package right here that's the most popular one um, if you have no add-ons it's not gonna have anything you press continue to details page okay it's gonna show basically um, what they chose okay and you press continue to submit info okay and this is a wedding and now it's gonna ask them for all this information regarding their wedding um, now how you actually customize this area is you go to settings okay, and go to
brands. And I go to uh, inquiry, inquiry form fields. And basically, this is where you could make certain fields visible and not visible. And that will basically show up on your pricing page at the end here. So that way they can submit it to you. Okay. Um, so that's a brief overview of pricing pages. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email me. As always, please subscribe to this channel to keep on more tips and tricks. And if you have any requests for Pixify videos, please make sure that you let me know. I will talk to you next time. Bye.